Hi, this is Tanya coming to you on behalf of the Kalimba and the care of the Kalimba. Today, I want to just talk a little bit to you about how organic this Kalimba instrument is and how important it is for you as the player to handle this organic, gentle instrument with care. Um, some may have experienced um, some difficulty in adjusting the end keys. And I am wanting to talk a little bit about that because this is a piece of wood, right? Hollowed out wood. And then you have these metal pieces that are screwed into it to give a level of sound. However, some may experience um, the loss of their end piece because you may not have given a gentle touch to the adjustment process. And I want to encourage you to go ahead and um, make a shift right now in being gentle um, if your key has come out, you were way, way, way too hard on this kalimba. You do have a hammer that you can use to adjust your keys. And so we don't need to um, go to the, the length of um, losing the key because that hammer is to keep that key, you know, straight, to keep it um, in tune, whether up or down. Um, but if it's out, that's way too much um, strength that you're imposing on that kalimba, which you can damage that kalimba and the ability to make the proper sound. So I want to just encourage you to be more gentle on this kalimba and when you are loosening the keys to gain some sounds on the ends, and usually it's the three end uh, keys on both sides of the kalimba that may give you a muted sound, which is expected because they are shorter, okay? But if you want sound, you can lift these keys up, but be very careful and gentle and just test as you go, as you go. But you need to please be very careful as to not over overly bend these um, keys because once they're out of whack, it's not going to sound the way that you would like it to sound. And so I want to just, um, you know, encourage you to really take care of this beautiful instrument and to just allow uh, the adjustment to be in stages rather than just pulling it extremely too hard and pulling it out. That's really hard. And so we want to just keep that in mind as we are looking for some resonance and understand the farther the key is from this hole, you will get less resonance, okay? Notice that this key here, you hear that bass, that bassy sound, okay? That echoey sound, look at, oh, even more. Um, placement matters, look at this. Okay, so we have to work on the ends receiving some level of, um, you know, adjustment, but we don't want to be too heavy handed on the keys that they will break and we'll lose the, um, the consistency of the sound in the kalimba. Finally, another uh, way of caring for this kalimba is placing a kalimba in its bag. It comes with a bag and you can place this kalimba back after usage because it's wood. That means there can be extension, ex expansion and drying that or drying that can take place. So you need to replace this kalimba back into the bag so that the protection against moisture or any kind of a cracking, that that doesn't take place.
place, okay? Depending on where you have it in the house. If you're having it next to a heater, that can dry out your kalimba. It can crack the wood. It can, even with playing. So uh, we need to be careful on that. And I'm sure you, you're going to do a great job in doing that. But I wanted to come on because I've had some messages from persons who um, just wanted to know how they can... Um, just adjust their kalimba properly and to care for it um, i wanted to do this so that you would not lose the, the the joy of playing on this beautiful instrument the kalimba thank you so much and until next time